Hello friends, this video on quadratic equations part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 8. Let's take our example. Two tap, water tap, together can fill the tank in 9, 3 by 8 hours. The tap with larger diameter than this one takes 10 hours less than the smaller one to fill the tank. Find the time, time in which each tank, each tap will fill the tank separately. The question says, if two tabs are there, it takes 9, 3 by 8 hours. This tab will take if 10 seconds, t seconds, t hours let's suppose, this guy will take t minus 10 hours. The question says, the tab with larger diameter takes 10 R less. So if, if they assume that the smaller diameter tab takes T hours, the larger diameter tap will take T minus 10 hours. Can you the question? Correct. Now let me assume the whole volume is this V. Total volume is V. Total volume of the tank. So if you see per hour this is per hour take a per hour rate I'll say by tap 1 let's suppose this is tap 1 and this is tap 2 by tap 1 is nothing but V by total volume by total time that is E minus T Second also, per hour rate of tap 2, smaller tap will come up to be V by T because the volume is same here because it has to fill this with volume. This tap, tap 2 is taking T hours, tap 1 is taking T minus 10 hours. So for tap 1, the rate is V by T minus 10, the rate at which it is flowing per hour and for this it is V by T. Correct. Now, the question says if you add, if you switch on both the tap together. So in 9 3 by 8 hours the tap 1 will contribute V T minus 10 this rate into 9 3 by 8. 9 3 by 8 let me write in proper way. 9 3 by 8 is nothing but 9 8 to 72 plus 3 75 by 8. 75 by 8 hours. So V this rate into time that is 75 by 8. This is the total volume that is contributed by tap 1. Similarly, for tap 2, the total volume will be V by T into 75 by 8. Because in 75 by 8 hours, per hour, the volume contribution is V by T minus 10 by tap 1 and V by T is for tap 2. If you switch on both the tap, V by T minus 10 into 75 by 8 is the total volume in 75 by 8 hours and V by T into 75 by 8 the total volume in 75 by 8 hours and both the taps are on together. The total volume is V because both the volume, both the taps together is adding this, right? And the total volume is V. This is what the question says. The question says the two tap, tap 1 and tap 2, if switched on together, if you switched on tap 1 and tap 2 together, that means both are together, then it takes 75 by 8 hours to complete volume V. Correct? See, understand this part is a very tricky part. See, in such questions, the first thing we do is we try to find per hour rate of tap 1, tap 2. We found, let me assume that the total volume was V. We found the per hour rate of tap 1 is V by T minus 10. And for tap 2, the per hour rate is V by T. Correct? Now, since both the taps are on together, right? So, in, in 75 by 8 hours, the tap 1 will contribute V by T minus 10, that is the rate into time, right? This is nothing but uh, volume per unit time. So this, this, this one is the total volume of water that will be, that will come out of tap 1. And this one will be total volume of water that will come out of tap 2 in 75 by 8 hours. If you add both this volume, that volume is nothing but total volume of the can or tank and that is nothing but V. We assume that total volume is V. So we have got this equation. That is 
rate of flow of water by tap 1 into time plus rate of flow of water by tap 2 into the same time you add everything you get the total volume right so let's try to solve this 75 by 8 into v is a common thing here this is equal to this into 1 by t minus 10 plus 1 by t is equal to v v v l cancel so what i'll get is t into t minus 10 t plus t minus 10 is equal to 8 by 70 Correct. So if you solve this equation further, what I'll get is this is nothing but 2t minus 10. So I'll get this is 150t minus 750 is equal to 8t square minus 80t. Correct. Now further if you write this equation, this equation becomes 8t square minus 150 and 80 230 t correct plus 750 is equal to 0 this is my final equation if you solve this equation i have not solved this equation because i have showed you how to solve this equation so many times you can solve this equation on your own the value of t you will get is t you will get is 25 or 3.75 two values will get now here also there is a trick the trick here is if you see this part this tab takes t minus 10 time right if t is 3.75 t minus 10 will be negative that is minus 6.25 so minus time is not possible so this will be no correct if, if t is 3.75 t minus 10 will be negative so we'll ignore this the only value of t is 25 so we can say that the first tag this will take 25 first tab and the second tab will take how much t minus 25 that is 15 because this is the rate this tab will take 25 and this tab will take 15 hours if they are asked to fill it separately See the main thing in this question is this equation. If you understand this equation, solving this question is very simple. This is the main thing. Where you have to assume that the first tab takes t, second tab takes t minus 10. You have to find the rate of by each tab by assuming the volume to be v. The rate came out to be v by t minus 10 and v by t. And then we, we were told that both tab are on together. So both the, uh, the volume contributed by this and this we have to add the total volume is V and we got the answer. Let's take one more example. The question says the sum of the area of the two square is 468 meters square. If the difference of their perimeter is 24 meter, find the area of two square. So let's suppose there are two uh, squares and this is x1 and this is x2. Length, this is length. This is the length actually. Length of this is x1 and length of this is x2. Correct. Sum of areas of two squares. So area of first is nothing but x1 square and the area of two is nothing but x2 square. It is saying sum of sum of two squares area. Area of this plus area of this is nothing but 468. That is given. First equation. The second equation is the difference of their perimeter. The perimeter of this is nothing but 4x1. And this is nothing but 4x2. Correct? So the difference in the perimeter that is 4x1 minus 4x2 is equal to 24. Correct? Or 4 I will take common. I will take here only. 4 I will take common. x1 minus x2 is equal to 24. I will divide this 4 here. This becomes 6. So I will get x1 is equal to 6 plus x2. Correct. This is my equation number 2. I will put this value in this equation. First equation. I will put this in this equation. Why? I want to find equation only in one variable. So instead of x1, I will put 6 plus x2. This will become 6 plus x2 whole square plus x2 square is equal to 468. 
correct this becomes 336 plus x2 square plus 12x2 plus x2 square is equal to 468 correct or I get 2x2 square plus 12x2 right and 468 minus 36 is 432 so this becomes minus 432 is equal to 0 again 2 is common I can remove this part so this becomes 2 into x2 square plus 12x2 sorry 6x2 minus 216 is equal to 0 this 2 also then so I bought this equation that is instead of x2 let me write x square plus 6 6 minus 2 and 6 is equal to 0. Now let's solve this equation. So let me put this equation here actually x square plus 6 x minus 2 and 6 is equal to 0. So using completion square to fall, so we write this as x square into 2 into x into 3. Since this is 3, I'll add 3 square and subtract 3 square minus 2 and 6 is equal to 0. So this becomes x plus 3 whole square minus 225 or is equal to 225 or this is nothing but 15 square correct so I'll say x plus 3 is nothing but plus minus 15 so that is I have two case x plus 3 is equal to 15 plus 3 or x plus 3 is equal to minus 15. So in first this case I will get x equal to 12. Here I will get x equal to minus 18. But since x is nothing but side of the square, negative not possible. So x is equal to 12. And here my x, this x is nothing but this value. So this is 12. Since this is 12, right, x1 is nothing but 6 plus 12. This is nothing but 12 plus 6. 18. So the two sides of the square is 12 and 18. So I have used the equation x1 is equal to 6 plus x2. x2 I found it to be 12. So 12 plus 6 is equal to 18. So this become 18 and this become 12. Correct. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.